If you're asked to write the number 2.4 as a fraction, here's how you do it. Let's call this 2.4 over 1. Since we're dividing by 1, it doesn't really change anything. It's still 2.4. Now we have the start of a fraction. What I'd like to do is get this 2.4 to be a whole number. And I can see I have one decimal place here. So with one decimal place, I could just multiply that numerator by 10, and that would give me a whole number. So 10 times 2.4 that equals 24. But I can't just multiply the numerator by 10. I need to also multiply the denominator. That's because 10 over 10 is 1. So we're multiplying by 1. Don't change the value, just the way it's represented. 10 times 1 is 10. And we end up with the decimal 2.4 equals the fraction 24 tenths. And we can simplify this even further. Since they're both even, let's divide the numerator and denominator by 2. 24 divided by 2 is 12, and 10 divided by 2 is 5. So the decimal 2.4 equals the fraction 12 fifths. This is an improper fraction because the numerator, it's larger than the denominator, so we could change it to a mixed number or a mixed fraction as well. 5 goes into 12. 2 times 5 is 10, so 2 times with 2 left over. Bring the 5 across, and 2.4 equals the mixed number 2 and 2 fifths. You can check that 2 times 5 is 10. 10 plus 2, that gives us the 12, and we just kept the 5 the same. That's it. This is Dr. B converting 2.4 to a fraction. Thanks for watching.